Welcome back, guys, to Coronavirus Craziness, day 27. It is May 7th, woohoo, 2020. Um, and I'm just going to start off with a pop quiz. Does anybody know what the CDC stands for? That would be Center for Disease Control. Hmm. I think we should listen to these guys, right? Because they are the center for disease control. In a time of a pandemic, they seem to be the people that we would want to go to for help. And the people we'd want to listen to, the people we'd want to consider, you know, our allies. However, this is what I got for you. Okay, you may not... <laughs> Okay, you can't read that, actually. That sucks. My brain is on my phone. You may, you can't read it. I was hoping you could. Oh, my God. That's terrible. <laughs> okay. Anyway, what it says is, um, for the news, <laughs> the Trump administration rejects the CDC guidance on reopening U.S. amid the coronavirus. So, the CDD, the CDC... Um, created a 17-page draft recommend, um, with recommendations for reopening America, along with whatever um, other things, recommendations that had already been uh, uh, guidelines for helping, like, opening America in a safe way. Um, these were extra precautions. The CDC had said, you know, maybe you should do this these things. It was a 17-page document that they had given to the president to say, you should do this. We think these are good guidelines to help save our transition, you know, America into a, a better and stable economy, plus keeping people safe, keeping people alive. However, Trump and the administration decided to just write that off and say no. So, he decided to go against those guidelines because they wanted to more quickly reopen America and the economy. Um, according to this, this uh, thing that I tried to show you but failed epically, and people will make fun of me for it, I know for a fact of that, um, it says that the, uh, sorry, I'm looking through it. Uh, do, do, do. It was in a, a six different categories, include child care programs, schools and day camps, communities of faith, Employers uh, with vul vulnerable workers, restaurants and bars, and mass transmit administrators. And so for each category, a draft document notes were opened um, and like put into effect for how to help out in making... Uh, a better transition and more a safer transition. The CDC had given ideas to um, the the administration as to how to go, to go about that. Um, however, they decided to just kind of not want to put that into effect at all. Uh, and funny, funny, not funny quote, but interesting quote was. Um, and I think this is just terrible. Um, but it's like pretty much everybody was, even though the CDC put all the effort into making this, they pretty much already knew that it wasn't going to be put into effect at all because like they weren't going to, they weren't getting any credit at all. And, um, on here, there's a quote from President Trump 
saying that I see the new normal being what it was three months ago. I think we want to go back to where it was um, when he was talking to the restaurant and hospitality industries. I want to go back to where it was. That's where we're going to be. I'm sorry. Mr. President, I do disagree. <laughs> I don't think we're going to be able to get back there that this soon. Um, your enthusiasm is great, but logically, I think we're going to be needing a little bit more time on this if we're not. We're not even at the vaccine stage. If we were at the vaccine stage, maybe, but we don't have a vaccine, so until that time... I'm not as optimistic as you seem to be. So, I guess a lot of it has to be they're trying to, you know, work on helping the states more. The CDC is trying to help the states more um, instead of just going up to the high, high top. We're trying to go down to the statewide, but, you know... I guess they, all they can do is what they've been told. And, I mean, all of their work, it really sucks that it just kind of went down the drain because all they were trying to do was, you know, put out more... I know they seem like restrictions, but they're not. They're more of things that are trying to help... Uh, help us adjust to the new daily living and also help us not um, spread the spread COVID-19 or also to even get COVID-19. And um, I feel like anybody who would consider shutting that down and not even considering that as an option is in the wrong. So I think that we decided, uh, our, I think our government decided the wrong decision on that. Though I may not have the documents in front of me, I think we made the wrong decision. I think you should probably follow the CDC's decisions when they, <laughs> they're there for a reason. I mean, CDC was created for a reason. It's the Center for Disease Control. That's what they're here for, to help with a help us when we don't understand what we're talking about with stuff. I mean, government's there for, you know, politicians and all that stuff, but when it comes down to the science, you know, that's what they're for, there for. So, yeah, that is what I saw today, and sorry, I totally dropped my phone, but, you know, that's me, and I'm sure I'll get made fun of by my friends. <laughs> so... Alrighty, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye. Stay safe.